Hi, this is Shadi. Kano Jigoro, an extremely influential man who was responsible for the betterment of society and that was his lifelong goal. He was a man that was very much invested in education, ethics, and of course, training oneself physically because you need to be physically capable in order to do your duties towards your society. Mostly, it was his upbringing that shaped the great man that we know. So, Kano Jigoro was born on October 28th, 1860 in Hyogo Prefecture. His mother, Sada, was largely responsible for his upbringing because his father, Jiro Saku Kano, gave up the brewery business or the sake brewing business to his younger brother-in-law and so he moved to Tokyo in order to work in the shipping business and so Kano's father was not very much present during his upbringing because of the commute between Osaka and Tokyo and so he learned so many things from his mother including putting the needs of others before yourself which ultimately led to the great uh, principle in judo which is prosperity for self and others and so later on at the age of 10 Kano's mother would unfortunately pass away and so afterwards he moved to Tokyo in order to learn Chinese classics and also things like English and then later he would enroll in the Tokyo University Kano excelled academically however when it comes to being physical he was severely lacking he was short and at the same time he was picked on and he was the target of many bullies and he was harassed constantly and so Kano figured out that the only answer to this problem is jujitsu jujitsu was something that he always wanted to learn and so he decided to seek out teachers in order to fulfill this need this physical need in order to complete himself both mentally academically of course and physically and so the first teacher that took him in was of course Fukuda sensei of the Tenjin Shinryu Jiu-Jitsu school he learned a lot from him he would train every single day and shortly after unfortunately Fukuda sensei passed away he was very young he was still a beginner and at the same time the responsibilities of the martial arts school was left to Kano but Kano refused since he was a beginner and sought out a different master which was Fukuda's master Masatomo Iso he trained under him for a very short period of time but Iso sensei passed away as well and so Kano had no choice but to seek out a third master which was Ikubo sensei of the Kitoryu school and there he learned the difference between his old school and his new one his old school was mainly focused on pins and choke holds while his new school was focused a lot on unbalancing and throwing techniques and so he created the perfect mix between standing and ground grappling in 1882 he founded the kodokan in order to teach what he now knows and the rest i would say is history kano jigoro not only founded the kodokan but also taught valuable things like ethics and morals which for us now seems very normal but at the time was very revolutionary con concerning a martial arts school all these illustrations you see in front of you are by Arata Tani. They can be found in the book Jigoro Kano, His Life and Philosophy. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.